Are you disappointed with your Grizzly performance so far? If that's the case, then don't worry, because Furina is coming to help. My first impression of Grizzly matches what I thought in pre-release. He is an okay character, a decent character, and the thing with him is that he doesn't have a preferable theme. He has a lot of themes where he can fit in, and from a theoretical seating standpoint, melt compositions should be the best. But the margin between melt themes and other compositions isn't so huge, and since Grizzly is a character with very specific drawbacks, the team that can hide those drawbacks the best, depending on the situation, is going to perform the best. Based on my early analysis, Frina is going to change this by giving Freed's team a serious edge. Not only that, but she will also make Grizzly's constellation one much less of a crucial thing, which is interesting to me because his constellation one has been object of such serious controversy, so many of you might be happy to hear this. So let's tackle the elephant in the room. Frina isn't going to improve Grizzly's melt themes, which might sound worrying to you considering they are his theoretical seeding themes. Mainly from a practical standpoint, I have two issues with melt themes. First, Grizzly has a high stagger value with his normal attacks, which will push the more vulnerable enemies outside of Bennett's circle very quickly. This of course puts a huge variability factor in all the teams where Grizzly is paired with Bennett, but it also makes Bennett's healing less efficient for Grizzly, which is a huge thing. Considering how reliant Grizzly is on staying about 50% HP to get uh, damage increases for the normal attacks, I think it should be paired with stronger healers than Bennett, also considering the pyro application the Bennett's burst applies on him puts him at huge risk considering the enemies will be able to trigger elemental reactions on him. The second issue to me is that melt teams don't really fit well with any anemo unit, and this includes Kazuha, because they won't be able to use Word Cryo most of the time. In my experience I felt that Grizzly really benefits from a grouper, or or at least an AoE damage dealer like Kazuha, because his AoE is not that good. He has some, but it's not really that impactful to me. So the presence of a Kazuha on team can really be felt. Luckily, both of these issues can be fixed by the teams I thought of for Furina and Grizzly. Let me remind you all that if you enjoy my theory crafting and my videos, you can show your support by subscribing and leaving a thumbs up and also following me on Twitter. I'm going to talk about healers first, because it's a given that it's a need here for Grizzly and Furina teams. Grizzly actually has a wide array of healers at his disposal that will not only cover the role of healing, but also will support him a bit. And mind you, this is obviously excluding the Animo healers, which will obviously support the team through resistance reduction. The ones I'm talking about here are Cryo healers, more specifically, Charlotte and Mika. No, you didn't hear me wrong, I said Mika. Mika largely has a kit that benefits physical damage dealers, but he also has something in his kit that Frizzly really likes. In fact, part of his buffs will increase attack speed for the active character regardless of his typing. In general, at minimum, it will allow Frizzly to pull off two more normal attacks a rotation, which is obviously very good. For this reason, Mika was already a contender to be the best in slot for Grizzly before Purina even got announced. I have to give credit to Jay Stern for this, because he believed in Mika much more than I did initially, and he convinced me on the fact that he can be a real asset. So, if it's true that he was already pretty relevant before, Furina making him more important, because he is a leader, makes him look quite great now. On the flip side, we have Charlotte, the new cryo healer that is coming out in 4.2. Charlotte isn't quite as technical as Mika when it comes to the benefits she brings to the table, but she is no less. She will be able to trigger the tenacity of the minilith set quite consistently, which is great for Grizzly on Bennetless team since his attack won't be that high. Secondary she applies much more cryo than Mika, which might not sound that important considering you already have Grizzly applying a lot of cryo, but trust me, it is. The reason is that if you apply a high gauge anima attack against a frozen enemy, you will be able to swirl both Hydra and cryo, and as a result, reduce the resistance of both elements. Now, if you have a cryo character like Mika, who barely applies cryo at all, it will be hard for you to do this double swirl. On the other hand, you should not have this issue with Charlotte and you should be able to double swirl before Grizzly goes on field. With one between Charlotte and Mika on the Furina Grizzly team, you can round out the composition by putting
using Kazuha. A good way to swirl both Hydra and Cryo on the Mika composition is to use Kazuha's burst after Brizzly used his own burst in the rotation. It is probably the only way to ensure swirling Cryo right before Brizzly's window, considering Purina's Hydro application will be overwhelming Mika's poor Cryo application. In terms of Furina stacks, the presence of a healer on team will make sure that Frizzly will enter the field with around 40 or 50% damage bonus from her. Then his own safe HP drain from the normal attacks will contribute to making the stack generation faster during his window, which is nice. Generally, the results for both of these variants are well above all of the Fritz teams I've calculated in the past. Specifically, it's also better than the Leila variant in its best case scenario. By best case scenario of the team, I mean the first rotation where Brizzly is able to stay above 50% for the whole window, while in following rotations he will have issues doing so, so it, the damage will fall down. The team also performs better from a damage standpoint than the melt teams I've calculated before, and this is with Freeze on top of that and with Kazuha being a grouper for the team, so it gains in terms of utility and damage. In terms of healing, there is a bit of a concern when it comes to Frizzly going on field, because both Charlotte and Mika aren't the best active character healers. I think it will largely be fine, but between both Furina's HP drain and Frizzly's self HP drain, the last will be losing more than 100% of his own HP per rotation, so he might have issues unless he uses his charge attack, but I really doubt he will need to use it more than twice a rotation to stay above 50%, which is the purpose of the charge attack being an auto jail card that puts you above 50% again. The other version of this team includes one between Jin and Sayu paired with Frizzly, Furina and Chen He. Honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of Jin with Frizzly because her burst will be pushing opponents out, which is the opposite of what Frizzly needs. Considering the circle's healing is also needed to heal Frizzly, this is a bit of a problem in my opinion. And the team doesn't even perform that well in terms of damage compared to the previous version to compensate. Shen E is obviously a great character for any cryo DPS, but replacing Kazuha with her isn't that much of a gain, so the team performs a little better in terms of single target damage, but considering how much worse it is in AoE, I don't think it's better at all. The last variant I wanted to talk about here is the double Hydro Core with Yilan and Furina paired with Jin and Brizzly. It goes without saying that a double Hydro Core is great for a character, but this is more so the case for Brizzly because it is a Cryo DPS. Since you can swirl both Hydra and Cryo, you can effectively magnify all the sources of damage on this team. And just like in the Mika variant, the best way to do this here is by using Brizzly's burst and then using Jin's burst, so a high gauge anima attack to swirl both Hydra and Cryo. However, this is a really single target focused comp, and since this double swirl thing won't work against bosses, it kinda defeats the point, doesn't it, because a single target composition that doesn't work well against bosses doesn't sound that great in theory. Still, its output is considerably superior to the previous double hydro cores with Yilan and Shincho, and when it works it should do more damage than the other variants I've talked about, but I wouldn't outright suggest it over the Charlotte, Furina, Kazuha, Brizzly comp because of the issues I've spoken about. Now, regarding the constellation one thing I talked about before, with Furina out, it shouldn't be that much of a need for Brizzly anymore. The reason is that while as a baseline, the charge attack based combo with Constellation 1 is superior to the Constellation 0 combo with only normal attacks, a big reason that the Constellation 1 was great is that it made healerless teams with Brizzly better, so the Leila compositions which were potentially the best for him, so uh, it was very nice for this reason. Also, the Constellation 1 is good for melt teams where you can melt the charge attacks every time, so it's a lot of additional damage. But both these Leila teams and these Melt teams aren't Furina teams. With Furina teams becoming the new standard for Brizzly, the Constellation 1's value should be gauged based on how much it improves those teams. And the answer is not that much in terms of damage. You do get to use more charge attacks, which is more damage, and also more healing, which means more stacks faster, but it's not a huge difference and it's not really needed in my opinion. It does make Grizzly more durable, which considering the extra HP loss that comes with Furina is pretty nice, but in general it's something you can easily skip. So, 
To summarize, Furina is a serious improvement in terms of damage to the teams that had the best utility for Brizzly, so it's the best of both worlds. Brizzly was designed with Furina in mind and it shows, because she will make him feel much more complete at Constellation Zero.